emotional roller coaster, if you didn't have any issues, it wouldn't be the same. Like the whole point is like conquering yourself, figuring out like your strengths, weaknesses, work on this, work on that, adjust, get better. Download the All Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Your upcoming fight is going to be your first fight in, in Las Vegas, which is always a great thing. Your first trip to the Apex. Have you been out to the PI before? I've never seen the PI. I've been to Vegas um, a long time ago. We've watched some fights there, but I've never fought there. I haven't got to check out the PI, so I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so maybe you'll be able to do those tests that people, like all the fighters talk about, to measure you against everybody else in the division? Yeah, I'm curious about those probably not going to test myself right before the fight but uh, mm. i'm curious to go back and do those and see how you know the full spectrum of the pi definitely um you're taking on pollyanna viana right what is your breakdown of her and in, in the style she's got a bunch of fights in the ufc um she kind of they're spaced out uh, i'm not really sure why but i know she wanted to be more active starting last year so um, I think she's primarily like, uh, you know, she wants to be on her back throwing up submission attempts. That's where she's, you know, super comfortable. Um, but obviously in her last fight, she's got a great, uh, striking finish. So, you know, I think she just wants to fight. She's kind of talked about that. So she just wants to like go out and, and kind of like almost brawl style. But I do think she's a pretty heavy grappler and that's where she's happiest. So, um, I expect it to go everywhere. You know, I think. She doesn't have a, a whole lot of wrestling or anything like that. So it's either striking or grappling with her. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to hit all of that. Her last fight, how surprising was that? Yeah, um, it was surprising. It was a great, you know, she just landed it just right. It was a good finish for sure. Um I actually know Jen and I train with her sometimes down at Fortis, her and Sam. So, um, talk to, to her about it. You know, it, it just happens sometimes, you know, you just get clocked right in the right spot and you're down. So, um, it was a good finish for her, but, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to read too much into it. It's only 47 seconds. Like you said, it, it, you know, it is just so quick. You know I mean? It just, it was pretty much right. picture perfect landed on the button. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? If you're if you're Pollyanna Vienna, you're you're just like you're so happy, right? That just worked out for you like that way. Cause I thought Jin was just the better striker overall, you know, heading into the fight. Right. And I agree. I think, you know, had it played out, Jin striking would have come out and been able to, you know, been showcased, but you know, just hit it just right, right, and got a great finish. Now you you went down to Fortis uh, uh, after the last fight that you had, and and you worked with Jin and and the the women down there. And how much did like Coach Safe and and Jin add to your preparations for Viana? Because I'm pretty sure they went through a whole camp to get ready for her. Right. Um. I went down. <laughs> what? Hey, stop. I went down once. I wanted to go down a couple more times but uh sam's fight and my fight didn't really like they were close so like they aligned really well but then it got too close to her fight so i couldn't go down and um definitely want to go down a little bit more next time but um i got some great rounds with her and jen and, and i gotta talk to jen i really i really like uh saif um i've, I've seen him all of my UFC fights so I you know sit and talk to him and I've trained down there several times uh, more so a long time ago when Shrine was still there um but now Sam moved there and Jin has been there for a while so, so I like to go down I used to train with Sam a long time ago so she moved down super close to to where I am now now and it just worked out perfectly. So I'm really excited to get that link back up and running. And um, I like Saif. He's like a no nonsense, no bullshit, just get in, get out. And that's how you work best. So I really like his input. And, you know, you know, I'm excited. It's a good matchup. 
without revealing too much, like what kind of input did he have? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, he's a cerebral guy, you know, he's a head coach. So he has so many different angles that he, he looks at fights and Viana is someone he's prepared for already. Right. But I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not at Fortis. So okay. it's kind of different. Like I have a great connection with him and I really, mm -hmm. but I'm not one of his athletes. So he's not going to spend, you know, a whole lot of time, you know, game planning for me, but mm -hmm. he did say it's a good fight for me and I'm, you know, excited to go down again, hopefully, and talk to Jin about it and, you know, just got a good short conversation about it. But, um, yeah, they definitely think it's a good fight and I'm excited for the match. And and Sam, you know, I mean, you saw her go in and, and survive that first round, kind of like, you know, similar to kind of your upcoming opponent, which is a strong grappler and, you know, what did you think of her fight? You know, I mean, and you trained with her ahead of that fight as well. She told me that you guys always had great training sessions, and and you've been so beneficial for her because the style that you bring. Yeah, we have really good rounds. They're uh, they're fun rounds. They're hard rounds. Um, and you know, she just went in there and gave it to her. She got she got caught a little bit in the first, um, but she came back and and just put it on her. Mm -hmm. I knew that. <clears throat> her opponent had not fought anybody to that level. And I, I just had a feeling that if Sam was able to put the pressure and really just like push it, she just wouldn't be able to handle it. So I was not surprised at all. It was a little surprised at the first round just because she got caught in some stuff, but you know, Sam is tough. So she just, you know, bit her time and, and got out of those chokes and just came back and gave it to her really really push the pace in the, the second and the third and and i was not surprised with that you know i thought that's kind of how the whole fight was going to go mm -hmm. but uh, um yeah she had a great performance and you know a really good win for her over somebody who yeah. was you know debut hyped up beaten, you know lfa princess type type fighter so that was a great great yeah. win for her yeah definitely definitely a great win some momentum i guess for you as well you know kind of get a little uh I don't know what you call it. some juice from that, you know. I I think it, it, there's something to it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's exciting to see you know somebody mm -hmm. that you know and train with um, go out there and and do it. You know, sometimes camp is long and mm -hmm. fights are hard, and and you're like, you know, you go out there and you see somebody you know do it. It's like, yeah, let's go. Now go back to your opponent, Viana. You know, if you go deeper into her record and you look at all of her fights or they all end in the first round or they go to the scorecards, which is very, very odd, right? Is there any reasoning behind that if you if you look at her fights? Yeah, she fights at a fast pace. So I think she comes out really hard in the first round. So there, there you see like some of those first round finishes. Um, but if she doesn't get the finish in the first, you know, she gets dragged out to like a, a decision. So, um, but I think that just plays totally into her style. She comes out super hard super fast in the first she's just trying to get it done and if she can't in the first she goes she just got to fight the whole fight your last fight against angela hill you know you went 15 minutes with i believe one of the best strikers in the strawweight division you know when you assess yourself and, and how you perform what are some of the takeaways yeah that was just not a good fight uh for me and i went home and i took care of some stuff and then i really dug deep into like that fight and and what happened and i ended up going out to train with her in san diego for a couple of days her and jessica penny i had a really really great time out there just learning from them and seeing how they train and in that group that they have out there so um you know the fight happened there's not much i can say about it, it just was a bad night for me and she had a greasy really good, really high level. So I learned a lot of valuable lessons from that fight that I'm looking forward to showing in my return to the cage. Um, so yeah, it sucked. That sucked. That fight sucked. But um, I definitely learned a lot and I implemented some things into this camp um, and I'm feeling really good about it. What did you implement? Is there anything you could reveal to us? Yeah, not so much, you know, um, it's not really about technique. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, I went out, you know, Angela just beat me and I went out and I trained with her and just trying to put myself in a little bit more uncomfortable positions and just getting more high level looks. Uh, the last camp, I didn't really get to go out and train. Usually I like to do one out of, of camp 
like out of my camp training session. So I didn't really get to do that last time. And that's not, you know, that's not a reason or anything, but I wanted to implement that back into this camp to, to get a few out of my camp sessions with people that I don't regularly train with. Um, it's just different when you're training with somebody that you're comfortable with. And then when you're going and getting rounds with high level people that you don't necessarily know. So I got some really, really good rounds and looks and details and, and feels in, in San Diego with the two of them. And I really look forward to going back there. They were really, really cool. So, um, but yeah, it gave me a really good look because, you know, I don't know them. So it was cool and just kind of, you know, and then I went down to Fortis. So, but I, I had been there before, so it's different, you know, different looks, different live looks and different trips, just more trips, more uncomfortable, more, <laughs> more rounds. But yeah, it's been good. Your dogs are getting rounds too, huh? <laughs> Your dogs are getting rounds. Oh well, at least, at least they'll protect you. They'll protect you. Those ones. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the trip to San Diego is so interesting to me because you, you are training with your past two opponents, one that you beat and one that you lost to. So it's like the sharing of information, the sharing of knowledge is, uh, so deep, you know, you could actually reveal to them like how you beat them and they could kind of reveal to you how they beat you. Is that the conversations you have? Is that what it's like? It was cool. Well, it's kind of different, but to get the looks from them, they have so hey, they have so much experience. So it was really good just to tap into their knowledge and their amount of fights in the UFC is just like really crazy. So I enjoyed. Let's relocate. <laughs> I enjoyed learning from them. They kind of gave me some like knowledge, you know, like some tips, like tips that are not necessarily, you know, with training, like fight tips, you know, mm -hmm. life tips, mm -hmm. training tips, like just cool to see. I really like to watch people high level, you know, UFC girls, high level girls. I really like to watch and, you know, kind of just see what they do learning. Even if they're not telling me things, I'm just kind of watching and seeing how they do things. So that was just a really great trip for that. Yeah. That's so interesting because you don't really see that too often, right? Where you get to fight your two opponents back to back and then go trade with them, you know, and, and share that knowledge. It's uh, it's one thing that's great it, about the sport, I guess. Yeah, I was nervous about it, like a, a little nervous. But um, I mean, that's the whole point. That's kind of why I did it. You know, it's kind of I didn't know what to expect from them. Obviously, they were nice and, you know, invited me out after uh, Angel actually told my manager after our fight, Hey, you know, she's welcome here anytime. So I kind of just, I was like, Hey, I'm taking you up on this offer. And, and I did, and I look forward to going back. It's just, just a lot of learning. It was really great. You get back to Oklahoma and the training camp, how many weeks did you have left after these two trips? So I went to San Diego, I had five weeks left. And then at three weeks, I had a couple of girls out. So we had a girls group here. Mm -hmm. And then other than that, I've just got my regular consistent training partners here. So, um, oh, and then I went, I had gone to Fortis before. So I had three kind of like different girls groups that I was able to do, which is, um, that was really good. Sometimes one or two. So I had three different girls, different groups, different styles and everything. And then the rest, just my, my consistent grind with my people here. For sure. Um, now I wanted to get into like the the mental side of, of fighting a little bit more, you know, like the mental hurdles of uh, of coming back from a loss. You, you know, what was, I guess, the hardest loss for you in, in your career so far? Yeah, honestly, um, I had a few. I've had a couple tough ones. I've had, you know, Bellator. There was a couple that stung there. I had one Invicta one that was difficult. And then my last fight, you know, that it sucked. I mean, it truly sucked. And sometimes things just happen. And you, I mean, there's nothing to do except just like you just got to leave it in the past and move on. So when I got home from that, it was 
it took me some time and it was hard. That was a hard loss for sure. Just because, you know, I didn't really showcase anything that, you know, I'm capable of. So just dealing with that in itself, but you know, I'm excited. Like I have plenty of time to show all the skills that I know I'm capable of. And I, you know, assessed everything, like looked really deep into what I thought the problem was and just got to work and got back on track. And I'm feeling really good and really excited to fight. Is, is, is there motivation derived from like self-doubt for you? You know what I mean? Cause that's something that's part of the sport in any sport, you know, any type of competition is like, am I doing enough? Am I good enough? You know what I mean? Those types of things. Right. right. It's kind of like each fight is different. So, um, mm -hmm. sometimes it just, it just comes in and kind of like smacks you in your face and you have to deal with different things, different fight camps. So, uh, that, you know, self doubt self, you know, am I good enough? All that stuff definitely pops in here or there. Um, but I feel like I've gotten a really good management. Like I've got it under control, mm -hmm. but sometimes, you know, it just sneaks in and sometimes it just gets you. And sometimes, you know, it just is what it is. So, um, but normally, you know, I, my last five fights, this last fight was probably the first fight that I just had, you know, some issues with, I guess, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling good. Like it's like a wave, you know, you just got to ride it. Emotions come and go and you just got to deal with it. So I learned from that. I look forward to fighting, you know, it didn't discourage me or anything. It just, it just sucked like period. Boom. Just sucked. Just really, yeah. really um, not great. So uh, getting back on track, getting back to consistency kind of just gets, gets everything going for me, you know, schedule routine. That's what I love about all of this. And so, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good, confident, um, and just, you know, back, back to a good place. Not that I was in a bad place, but sometimes, like I said, just sneaks up and you just don't realize what's going on until it's too late. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, mental, mental is crazy, crazy in this sport, really important. And I put a lot of effort into it. Win, lose, draw, I put a lot of effort into the mental side of it. So, uh, it's awesome when it pays off and sometimes it just doesn't, and you just got to move on and do it again. Yeah. I was talking with, uh, Rafael Stotts and he has a title fight coming up. He's defending his title and he has a million dollars on the line. You know, it's the Bantamweight Grand Prix. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. And and I was asking him about that. It's like, you know, you go into jujitsu class and, and you roll with some black belts and they tap you six times in like 10 minutes. You know, how hard is it to get back up the next day and spar them again? You know what I mean? Like there's like some mental hurdles there. For sure. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's like the whole thing. Like, that's the whole thing. If you didn't ever have any any emotional roller coaster, if you didn't have any issues, it wouldn't be the same. Like the whole point is like conquering yourself, figuring out like your strengths, weaknesses, work on this, work on that, adjust, get better. So like, I mean, that's like just part of it. It's the whole thing. You know, I, I want to figure it out, like figure out the mental and physical side of it and just put it all together. So for me, I wouldn't really want it without it. Like I want, I want, the mental side of it like i want to yeah. figure that out because that's just that's part of you know the the interest the the appeal like if everyone could do it you know if everyone was like super confident or you'd have so many more people able to perform but like yeah. it's it's both it's mental and physical that's how you perform you don't just like you don't have one or the other and you go out there and have great performances you've got to figure it out and, and get them both going yeah, that's what makes you in that exclusive club of the UFC. You know what I mean? There's there's a reason why that that's exclusive. And, and you know, right. on the flip side, I was talking to another fighter and they were telling me about how they were winning and continuing to win. And then basically they became complacent in, in, in some ways. And then their next fight, their last fight that they right. had, they got knocked out, you know, and, and you know, stuff like that happens. Uh, and then now they're remotivated to to learn again. You know what I mean? It's like, like you said, it's the roller coaster up and down, up and down. Now, you know, you're coming back from the yep. setback. You're going to fight Pollyanna. You know, I think it's a great matchup for you. It, it's going to be an interesting first round. How do you want to perform? Yeah, um, we've got a game plan. And I just want to, you know, show up in Vegas in there do the game plan get my hand raised and get out of there like i'm not i'm not i don't need to finish it in some sort of way i don't need to do anything i 
and going in there to do my game plan and to win. If the finish is there, I'll obviously always go for that because, you know, getting a finish is better than going to a decision. But um, I'm just going going in there to win by any means necessary, by any way necessary. And I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Mm-hmm. The the Daniel T- Taylor finish, was that something that you you forecasted or is it did it just come to you? Uh, we worked those specific things like mm-hmm. like coming over her low jab or she was shorter. So like the, the kicks are there. Um, I like to use the kicks, but in each opponent, it's kind of different. So some, yeah. sometimes I'll target like the legs or sometimes we'll look for like a higher. So because she was shorter, we had the head kick in mind, but no, I had no idea it was going to play out like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am glad that it was the things that we worked that led to the finish. So like those specific things we worked was how I got it done. So, but yeah, no, I definitely, definitely didn't see it exactly like that, but yeah, it it worked how we planned it and it worked even better than I was thinking. So it was, it was great. Yeah. Beautiful violence. You know, that's the terminology for that beautiful violence. April 29th, UFC fight night, Las Vegas, go into descriptions, download the all-star app. Emily, thank you so much for the time. And I always, enjoy our conversations because we could kind of go deeper into like different aspects of fighting rather than just like, Oh, what do you think of the matchup? You know, stuff like that. So thank you so much for taking the time. Of course. I enjoy talking with you as well. Thanks for having me.